I was having this conversation with my mom recently and she told me that have you ever seen a gay grandfather? Free. When we talk about the LGBTI issues in the South African context, we have to give a historical account. So homosexuality during colonization was uh, criminalized, which means that if something is criminalized, um, it doesn't happen arbitrarily. It means that it was happening or it was part of society. Pre-colonization, there has been studies that have shown that um, homosexuality was actually a reality within the South African context. So gender and sexual fluidity was part of the African um, continent. So the view that you know homosexuality or LGBTI identities is un-African is a is a colonial legacy. When I was at university, which was in the late 80s, it was the time of the state of emergency. Um, it was the time of a lot of repression in South Africa. There were police and uh, soldiers on the street. People like Archbishop Tutu and Trevor Manuel who had just been in detention. Um, other activists came to speak to us as students and so we became, as white African students, we were a small group of people at Stellenbosch who so, sort of started becoming more politically active. But it had nothing to do with sexual orientation, it had nothing to do with being gay or lesbian, it was about the politics. So it was only when uh, democracy came really and a new organization was formed, the Coalition for Lesbian and Gay Equality, that I became involved in that coalition. They were writing the final constitution and we tried to make sure that the protection that was in the interim constitution, the constitution was drafted just before democracy came, that that would uh, be retained in the final constitution. So I went to parliament speaking to, they, because of Afrikaans, they sent me to all the really conservative white uh, members of parliament and I had to go and try and ask them, please make sure that our rights are not uh, taken out of the constitution. That the time there was a law that said if you have sex with somebody of the same sex, it's a criminal offence. So we were criminals just because we were living and were loving. So they challenged that in, in, the, in the court. For me, Nango Fungofu, Nikulele Asuetu, a protea north, a relatively upmarket place. By the time Nusungula the relationship with same sex, uh, from my experience, Anni Zangi Nivana, Nishangana, not a problem with homophobia or personally. Out here, go to Rockville, Paripua, and Quentlaka, and but a protea. Anni Zangi Nivana problem. Well, you see, when we were uh, uh, talking about the constitution and making a new constitution and making sure that many different people's rights are protected in the constitution, I think many of us thought that just changing the law 
Putting a new constitution in there will change everything. As the old flag came down, we were all shouting down, down, down. And then when the new flag came up, we cheered, we hugged each other, we cried uh, because we thought now there will be freedom. Of course, we were a little bit naive. We thought in one go, everything will change. That was quite a milestone. Wherever I went as an academic, I teach, I go to places across the world to give talks. People were, at the time were saying, yo, you're really very privileged because you have this constitution and it's the only one that actually says in the law that you cannot be discriminated against. In 2006, Local ANC, the parliament, it's official, uh, same-sex people can get married. The excitement was very high. And Nitsunzuka, he had to home affairs, he had registered to apply to book for the wedding, for the marriage. So the whole December was, f was fully booked uh, because many people have to go to the hospital. So what happened was the court said um, in 2005 that you cannot discriminate against somebody uh, just because they want to get married to somebody of the same sex. But the court said maybe if we are going to change the law ourselves, people won't really trust this law. We're going to ask parliament. At the time, I remember the chairperson of the portfolio committee asked me, so why do same-sex couples want to get married? And I said, well, you know, you don't know my mother. Every mother wants to have a picture of her son on the mantelpiece uh, uh, on, his, or, uh, on his wedding day. And so I, if you're going to deprive my mother of that right, you're going to be in big trouble. <laughs> Having been involved in the whole process and having been involved in arguments for full equality, it is still, I still feel it's a little bit bittersweet for me. Just because the law change doesn't mean that everybody actually live this change. Doesn't mean that people are not going to experience discrimination, that they're not going to experience, experience rejection from their family, from the community, and so on. This has to do with many different things. It has to do with people's attitudes. It has to do with economic inequality. Some of us are rich um, or have money of some sort. We can go around, we can buy protection. Other people do not have that luxury. So I think until such time as we have addressed the economic inequality in our country and the economic uh, hardship that so many people face, the promise of the Constitution has not been met. Freedom is not free. Freedom is not free. South Africa and it's also on Google to um um we are we are Vigela I'm a homosexual definitely a discriminatory on the basis of their sexual orientation. Got again in this bona with um teto nama nendela abantu abacabanga ngayo or ama attitudes abantu as as hambila and gune gap between the two. Abantu uh basasenayo in zondo, um homosexuals and a years in days with Ingali and Tlang and the parents, families, and friends of South African queers with the Kokali Kaya Abazali, Moba, be be culture, Aba 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 Guyo, ne religion, Iba Fundi Suguti, Ama homosexuals are not humans. It's never easy coming out to anyone or to any community. I've been sexually abused for coming out as a gay person. I've been traumatized, in fact. 
you get rejected by your own family members, you get rejected by the same community that you grew up in because they think now you have some kind of a sickness that needs to be cured. They even refer to my mother that, no, there is a prophet somewhere that can cure the gayness out of me, of which the parents that I have, I thank God for them because they supported me throughout the struggles that I was facing. They acknowledge me as their son, regardless of my sexuality. I think in 1996, I was gang raped by four guys. They were trying to kill me of the gayness in me. And then I lost a, f a dear friend of mine who was brutally murdered for being uh, a lesbian as well. We live in a country that is so devious that you get killed for being gay, you get killed for being a lesbian. Like most of our LGBTI people, by Abula are very brutally. It's either we told you to move to Rijiwe, by I'm sleepy, zangi ti na kuni tomba zana je ebesi mwa bangu ni agu suli lekwa uli ratongo loi. By rape, by hutu la by via ngasi 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 sporu in la penali, by lashe langi ti ne inku loji. Abu manga bika te kwa kiwe kwa telezwin. Manjis bona shuti hai shuti kuni nzondi inku. In the Lavanda Babla, I have a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit Free state so citizens as LGBTIQ people. South Africa is a violent, violent place for LGBTI people. We have people who are dying every day. That's how urgent LGBTI issues are. They are gatekeepers uh, for people who commit heinous crimes against LGBTI people. And I think culture is one huge one. It's almost like in the South African context, we can't challenge culture, right? Um, that cultural leaders have the the sole you know, authority on what is culture and what is African. Um, and I understand because we have a, a whole history where our cultures were, were marginalized, right? But I think that uh, sentiments like homosexuality is un-African are ahistorical, so they're not historically correct. And also, you know, they, they, uh, they protect certain practices and certain cultural patriarchal norms um, that LGBTI people challenge, right? I think religion is one big part of it as well. Um, religious leaders and uh, people in our community who belong to religious uh, formations, like Christianity, are gatekeepers of anti-LGBTI sentiments. I think, again, the state 
Homer says is one department that is transphobic. So when trans people want their gender marker um, changed, um, they have to jump huge hoops and sometimes for years in order to have their gender marker changed. Minister of Jeff Hatte Borkala in National Task Team, he finally he begged with the violence and the LGBTI address for Ganjan. He didn't even let him see me. I go to a bank, I'm a LGBTI activist. I'm a province, I'm a province. I'm a lawyer in my day to day. God, the Oma Oya la poli yom shangan. Abantu baga hulmenji abananda ba. Ba West ba homophobic, ba transphobic, ba biphobic. Kuzi mukseventa na. We are humble police station. We are we are reporter. Oguti. I don't think we've done enough education to make sure that those people who are supposed to help us, they are getting paid to help us, that they do so without discriminating. There needs to be much more education of police officers, of uh, members of the Department of Home Affairs, um, of teachers, so that they do not discriminate on the basis of sexual orientation or of race or gender or anything else. Hulumeni may to deal with violence against the LGBTIQ people. We capezul aga 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 begi ekchuleni kupala kwenye aguti kali gupi. Manga be sizo dila na ma issues am LGBTIQ. Angenge sibo azuti sisi linga o in an isolation. Kule zindo is is ningi is kumana yo. Ama issues e patriarchy. Ama issues e misogyny. Ama issues o uti abantu basalabi. To address that is a, a huge challenge. It is intricately uh, linked to other kind of problems in a society. Problems of unemployment, uh, problems of patriarchy, especially uh, lesbians uh, who are vulnerable to rape and murder um, because of patriarchy, because men think they own women and women's bodies. LGBTI people who live in Cape Town CBD or Camps Bay don't face the same victimization as people who live in the township. I come from New Kidiboni, peace le khwale. Di zalelo e Johannes back nda kulela e kap. Um, di shale CBD in Wonga Town, cause ndi funda payan. I form part of the members that founded the Tanole Tukuya Collective. Okay, guys, so now we're gonna go to Ekasi, Kylie Chawe, where I come from, where I was raised. Oh, you wanna go on Facebook? You wanna go WhatsApp? And then I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you about the phone numbers. Zabo, eh? became family for people who don't have family, right? And as young as we are, we, we, we developed a certain love to each other. We have different kinds of relations with each other. They don't come out now. They yeah. always live in the closet because it's hard to be in the closet. I had to stop going to church because they were like, they were like, Okay. <laughs> Um, they don't know that I'm, I'm a lesbian. Same what the group. They do not know, and um, is visible shame, but then they deny yeah, it's it. Yeah, because though you put it, because you're here, you can feel Usually, like, when they go see, and besides, it can't land with a boy. Yeah. I usually go see, see a crossroads, right? And Usia likes holding hands in public. Yeah, yeah. So she hold my hand, and 
like the expressions that would get from different kinds of age groups, my friend. I'm not saying it's a certain age group that is homophobic. From Even young people, ba, 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 la, la and to the elders, my friend. This is something. Like, uh, it's, 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 like, can't you get the picture? The picture boy sometimes, Titi. Listen, listen, Baba, Honestly, the name guys. Oh, yeah. In this is a collective, especially because it's a right? We right? Pelagonia last year, we went and visited different schools. The main reason why Singhine is calling is because most of our members get under to they were also doing grade 10, 11, 12, and as figure meetings, they would come and tell us by itishara, they would have certain attitudes towards them by Mofi, Kochagatima, and um, they would have. It's, it's just an, it's just not a welcoming environment for a human being rather than being queer. It's just not an, a, inviting for you as a human being or rather as a person or an individual to be in that kind of space where you feel unwelcomed. Freedom is not free. Freedom is not free. When I was reporting hate crimes and investigating hate crimes, I found that a lot of the black lesbian women who were killed in the, in the township were masculine presenting, or butch, as some people say. And I think that talks to the crisis of masculinity, that men feel like they own masculinity. And so they feel threatened by women who are masculine presenting, women who um, date other women, who love other women, who are attracted to other women, who embody masculinity. The people in the CBD, they don't face struggles. They don't have struggles. They, they have got nice life problems. And that's what I've come to realize living in the CBD. But because we've got specific problems that we suffer, and people in the CB don't, don't have those kind of problems. You find that somebody has a problem of not being able to get a cigarette. Maybe they want to have a purple cigarette instead of pink. And we don't have those kind of problems, guys. We've got serious problems where you lose a brother, you lose a sister over the fact that they are actually queer. What did you guys think about the whole campaign of the people versus her, the people versus sex workers, the people versus transgender, the people versus the non-binary people, the people versus queer people, and the fact that women, or rather um, female identifying bodies, wore the blankets that the men usually use when they're going for initiation school and had a, an entire match over that. Because they went through that process by Shatini and they got to wear that blanket which now makes them think they are, no, 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 no. you know. Yeah. Um, I think for Rimna, having women to wear that was, because guys, like, like, who do you think you are? You know? The you know? whatever. We can't. But then, that culture, tradition. That's where it starts for me. Yeah. That's where um, I think men think they are men. Because they went through that. Mm. But for me, it's not. It's, uh, being a man, it's not that, guys. Being a man, it's how you carry yourself, True. it's how you treat other people, you know. And I don't think as a, as a community, we are free. As South Africa as a whole. Yeah. We are not. For lifestyle. For being you. You know, for exactly. being you. You find a predator, yeah, I'm a best friend, and Polly, a mind, who put his son. Yeah, but you pull a little um to get the good. We are selling, we are selling. Polly, my love, boss, I know. We are not in their trash. If I could ask some of my friends from the CBD how many funerals they have attended because of their queer friends who have passed away, in a year it could be one or none. Whereas with Ekasi, from January to December, we'd count seven funerals. Seven funerals of queer people, queer friends close to our hearts, queer family members that we have lost because of just being queer and existing. Generation, generation, 
So there is nothing that you're gonna prevent Oguti Gunga being a Bosch. So I will say for effect Oguti, but pile ama lunge Oguti si 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 shate and no matter how slow Oguti abantu they understand. It's what I said, Guti. If we don't share the knowledge of our life with people, with our communities, they wouldn't understand us. Minister, I'm Tando Riyanga. I'm Pidelo Munyumundo, and I feel Guti. I was not going to choose to go by Munting or Yaguti Abandu Bazong Tayag and Jalo, so it simply says that I didn't choose that Guti and Tayag and Jalo Stratin. Angas and Abanama feelings for Abafan, no man, I'm there, no man about Kudi and Jan, and I'm seven. Yeah, I understand. But begging Domazanala, Unzokchala, the way you're doing a con, Unzokchala, the way you're hurting a con. Yang is a young man, I mean, it's in experience. Homophobia because I grew up in Bafana. So if that was the case, Gakulu Nya Kabang would sing Abazang Bang Allah would sing the Patia Bang from the Sipola, the way Bang from the Sanga corner. Yeah, I do have a lot of people, they will, they will tell me, especially on my Facebook, as long as you have a situation, you have to understand that you are gay and you have to understand that you are gay and you have to understand It's unfortunate because my parents they don't have any knowledge. Yeah. Of course, they are all the same. They expect you to be in the same way, you have to be in the same way, you have to be in the same way, because parents they want that from their own. Hi everyone, um, I'm Minty Letwala. I'm gonna be facilitating this discussion, but it's not gonna be formal. We're just having a conversation and talk about, I guess, experiences and in relation to our rights and relationships. As a gay man, I can't go to places like Stones, to places in like, say, Four Ways or something where I know that there's actually gonna be a large, like, a big straight culture there yeah. mm. because I know that it's a dangerous space from experience. And now as well, a lot of the places that are for gay people are starting to be a lot more dangerous yeah. in terms of that. Yeah. Uh, the the fact that you can go onto an app like Grinder, right? Let's just use Grindr as the base. <laughs> Gross example. Sorry dad. Um, and um, you can see things like no femmes, no blacks, yeah, no, that's true. no Asians. And you see that and you're like, you're in a community that's discriminated against and you're doing it yourself. Okay, as a straight woman, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people who are actually being true to themselves, uh, they're gay, but out to the world, they project this image of being straight. I'm a straight woman, um, but I come from a relationship with a guy previously, but I um, in love with the girl at the moment, um, but I resonate with being straight. So it's not that I'm denying myself, it's not that I'm trying to hide anything or um, ashamed, not at all. I think it is that maybe sexual confusion of I'm not really sure where I fall right now. I think what we need to start doing is, because there is, I think what that ties into is there's a straight culture and there's something that people really want to fit in, but there needs to be education on the fluidity of sexuality. The, the, the notion that there isn't just a black and a white. You know, there isn't just I like boys, I like girls. Well, some people have situations with family where they'll be they'll be definitely judged. For example, I can't tell my family that I'm lesbian because they're gonna be yeah. This is not going. So also with um, as you can see, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> also with friends, for example, my best friend, my best friend's open sexuality. I will tell her, okay, look. I'm lesbian, you have to accept it. And then if she's your actual best friend, she will accept you. Whenever, whatever the matter is, whatever the problem is, she will have to accept you. And those are the type of people that you need around you. I don't know if this has ever happened to you um, where a straight girl will come up to you and be like, are you gay? And then you go, yeah, and then you go, do you want to be my best friend? Yeah. A yeah. stranger, <laughs> a stranger. Yeah. I love gay people, I just, I love them. Totally. Like you collect them, like you're gonna trade us. 2018 now, but we're still fighting for the same rights. Are this, are we really, f are the rights really there or they're just good in paper? You are part of the LGBTQIA plus RSM community, right? 
people say it's too long to put LGBTQI, why don't you put queer then? Exactly. Then a person can just take the box. Mm. Uh, when you get to your toilet, there are people who don't want to get in. It's either male or female toilets. Why don't we have gender neutral toilets then? I have to say that we are quite lucky to be in South Africa, number yeah. one, because we have one of the best, you know, constitutions around the world. In the olden days, you know, they couldn't be out there. They didn't have yeah. those rights like mm. we have today. For example, when you go to Uganda, you can't even, being gay, you know, you get arrested for that, you get punished for that. African masculinity tends to be associated with being, with, with entitlement, with being like aggressive, with being like assertive. And if a person that's different tries to express themselves as like you are destructive to the norm. I was having this conversation, you guys, I was having this conversation with my mom recently. And she told me that, have you ever seen a gay grandfather? It's a new thing, it's a trend. You guys are just fitting these trends and you want us to follow them. So I think it's a matter of, they, they don't want education, they are being ignored deliberately. They're just denying it, that no, it's yeah. a trend, it's a new thing. That's why it's being glamorized on television. So I think that's the reason. This gives us a responsibility to educate our parents and families mm -hmm. about our differences. That's exactly Because right. since, since they come from a generation which was like that, and you have such information, what you can do is inform them on what is happening around Around. Just show a positive picture. I feel like there should be like a positive picture of queer people. Do not show me the the show me like I don't I don't like media always portraying the feminine gay guy. Show me even if he's feminine, can he be a CEO of a company? Show me positive like a lawyer, a trans lawyer. Uh, I feel like yes, yes. I feel like people need those positive so that yeah, it's gonna give people the idea that queer people are just like people they can be in any time yeah in everyday life i also think the little things matter like you said um we should start teaching uh, the next generation that's coming yeah. on like cartoons let they be um lgbt, LGBT representation. exactly representation within the little cartoons like every single thing matters that we do freedom is not free freedom is not free I must pick a goal for whether I'm planning to like buy a house or have a baby or move overseas. I mean, I personally have just never been very public about um, my relationships before this. So I've been to the and you go We meet, yeah. It's not uh, often we to a same-sex couple that is there, not because of a certain negative story, but just because they're happy and they love each other. I mean, I've been living a close surprise because I've always sort of been open about um, who I am and as far as the sexuality is concerned. I suppose Utua Wabad was Uti, you know, I'm with someone also in the industry. You're not gonna help me do anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> Play love. I mean, I've always been the type of person, you know, whatever's happening in my life, I'm like a poster, Instagram, Facebook, I'm posting, I'm posting, I'm Twitter, you know? So I, I show you a relationship, Lena. Um, so it wasn't conscious. I okay, show you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> We were posting pictures with the two of us on Instagram like for quite some time. Mm -hmm. It was only when people saw pictures that shocked them, that uh, took them out of their comfort zone, mm -hmm. that they caught on. Mm -hmm. So after we posted um, a certain picture on, on Instagram, uh, next thing it's been taken down because someone's reported it as um, what inappropriate. Is it? Inappropriate, yeah. yeah. So I'm as routine in the inappropriate we'll talk about what's <laughs> done. I don't want to be made to feel like I can't post 
on my own page isn't there for no post I mean that's just because when uh, it, it makes you feel uncomfortable. So, so, so the freedom to unfollow <laughs> for you as well is there. So I think people should rather go for that option instead of oh, shoot, I'm in, but the stress thing and they post I mean on my page. You know, it doesn't make sense. You can't infringe on other people's rights. We have the right to go to uh, CIS Express. We have the right to be together. We have not infringed on any of your rights. We'll post that way to East Tombe, say to CISO you too. So when I got to say, Upetwe homophobia. Mm -hmm. So your homophobia is infringing on our rights. So you need to fix that. That's not our problem. We met at Hama Abidor Sisulu, Sunnyside. Then I went to police training at Pretoria, the Pretoria College. Parak sebe basa dumeli ba chupa basa nyala na angor ba dule mo. Eh, kana ko irbero kona fela ko patella. Jamu magishi ni ngo mera reka fosloras. Fosloras ra ko pana le ba arisha ni ba ba ilen ba resora kabozi. Kuto karifi chile ba ilen ba fitla ba kera kera fitla ba amuwe la kabozi. Eh, azangra ba na le le du problem ite ba chupa ba mo ba nangli zona. And also kena kana ko rima ga ko aner poris. Because there was a session at one time, oh, when are you? and then one sound, poof, and then they disappeared. Uh, so since then, we've been relatively uh, safe uh, at Fosl Lourdes. I think Abantu feel that they have more of a right to attack people uh, because there's a sense of we are there for public scrutiny, which is um, quite incorrect. So, um, in as far as um, maybe violent attacks, maybe people are more cautious and wouldn't violently attack a public figure as they would Mundunje Abashala Nai Lokshin. Because Tina says is no we're we're not gonna go out as often. It's very, it's more difficult for our bandu to reach us uh, as far as a physical attack is concerned. But you know, Moshalikas, you're you know, you're staying in whatever neighborhood, Abantu can reach you. <laughs> Il <laughs> It said I've been trying to understand why those things happen. Nazi sometimes we careless. Because if things were not about Fanaba, it didn't usually in Buang or two saying that you and Amang is understand what's going to happen to me. Also, the attitude, you know, the way you carry yourself. Some other people they change towards that. Now, the way you present yourself, it makes other people to understand. It's not like you want to be a guy. I don't want to be a guy. I mean, I'm okay being a woman, dating other women. But then there are those who are like us also who are really confusing people. That it, 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 it what brings confusion. So what we do, it, it really brings an impact to the communities. Navano, Bangatsa Kelly T lesbian it because the lesbian it in a kuba susufunu as we nabu ma and yeah let's say but it's a kelanja. Lokuruku, he bat the bullies, Amindu, Aminda Gwinia Hina, and still has been a rang is a bull has been a pambili, it's a moon. Um Tina, we can sort of uh, take measures 
to to be safe. You know, we can decide okay, I'm gonna put my lessons cut and one gets tired, Lana. But I mean, most likely, guys, you have to leave your house at some point. So I get it as far as access to Guti. We are, I suppose, in a more secure place um, than someone Oshala Oshale guys. Freedom is not free. Freedom is not free. It is sometimes difficult for people to understand that it's one thing to have rights in a, in a constitution, but that doesn't translate into better living conditions. Our constitution is special because it also protects social economic rights, a right of access to housing, to health care and so on. But we need the government and everybody to actually work towards making that possible. And we have not yet managed to do that properly. The struggle still continues. Like now, we we are trying to educate the community that we are just normal people. It's not that because I'm gay, I'll wake up with your husband or with your wife the following day, no. It's just me living in my own space, and I also want you to respect that so that I can respect you in return. Yes, we are supposedly to be free in South Africa, but we are not. We are still challenged every day. Renali mithu wa gore ngwana o bela go a le either male or female fela e felela mo. Gay lesbianism ina le spectrum se se golo. Mo ileng gore ba bangwe ba transgender, ba bangwe ba intersex, ba bangwe ba bisexual ke dilo tse dintsi tse rena go le tsona ke go pula rena le mogwera wa rena o mong ba re ke Nicolas a tsena kereke mo thembisa go me a sa tsebeselo ka gay lesbian ga re o ile o koleka ka kereke ba gana tshelete ya gagwe ba re ga rena ke tshelete ya ditshila me ngwana a sa tsebeselo so ha re bona bana ba gola bana ba o ga ba go pula selo ka dilo tsa thobalano ba no bele go ba le jwalo re santse re ba thushe re ska le ka go ba fetola re ba amogela go bana go le ka go fetola go ka se tshushe ngwana o tlo re mola a go dile a le papa wa kalapeng ana le bana ba bantshi ya ba gona a re nna ke nna o i do believe guti there are some gays in the psn the gay gay boys but they don't come out because they are scared to come out ngwa ba kusasa they will be judged they will be telling the ba zo ba tshele guti they are not men enough you know because but mo nga tsha they are men enough for effect guti they playing for professional leagues they they they, they did show up with their men. My previous marriage, wow. You know, that time when the wedding happened, we became celebrities in such a way that everyone wanted to know who is this promise and how come he managed to do a wedding. After that, there is always challenges. For instance, my in-laws, they never understood why their son would marry someone who is gay and who is also uh, a traditional healer. I was defending my marriage more than my happiness in the wedding. So for me, it was giving me depression. Then that's why I decided, no, this I, I can't do. We are in South Africa and my partner is Nigerian. Both the countries, they've got their own challenges. One, in Nigeria, it's taboo to be gay. You even get killed for being gay. So, at least in South Africa, even though we are being abused uh, emotionally, physically, uh, at least we, can, we get to live the life that we, we want. Unlike on the other side, yeah. There needs to be greater consequences for homophobic attacks of all kinds. At all levels, there need to be consequences, and I'm talking about jail time, not just people have been told, no, you can't say that or you can't do that. Uh, 
I, would, I wouldn't see us getting that platform to to really make people aware about our sexuality because they will see it as the wrong thing. Me corner level problem, especially me for your professionalism level. Ngoba the maybe turn the guti anye get totally bonza. Ngoba si lavante si ibo. Mele si si visa matli veji. Nan nan guti this is okay. No totally bonza for me na. Yeah, I think that's when I started to to realize guti there are people who have a problem. You know homosexuality too and they bring it in our professionalism because probably they don't understand the media yeah um, it forms the way people think um, when we watch TV shows uh, even on a subconscious level the mere fact that um, Jason no sense or even what about that we've ever seen on TV um, in a uh, same-sex relationship is a problem. Why don't you advertise the LGBTQ community? Why don't someone like educate that gayness is normal? Like for example, this other day my great my sister's great, doing grade nine. So I went through her book and voila, I found gender non-binary, transgender. So they're already oh. learning about this thing. So I'm like, okay, okay so the Department yeah. of Education is playing their part. Yeah. Are we all free? No. We are free to different levels. So if you're privileged, um, if you're white, if you're a man, you're probably close to as free as one can get in any society. But there's an intersectionality of different things that make you less free. If you are poor, if you are black, if you're a woman, all those things, if you're a lesbian, all those things make it more difficult for you to be free. People's mindsets are still backwards, you know, and they hide behind religion, they hide behind uh, culture. culture, but it's hate. It's hatred and it's evil. We accommodate hateful people a lot mm. and forget that it's just their mentality. It's all about them. You can force it down their throat. Because it's been, we gave you a long time. 1996, yeah. how many years has that been? Yeah. And we're still, okay, let's give them another year, though. And let's give them another. It'll yeah. be flipping 2015. Our kids cannot be gay, but it's there in paper. Freedom means different things to different people. If freedom I go show with him, I'm going to with him. I'm going to pass in the middle for me. Freedom means deep. It means I have to be free, even economically. Even the whole menu is where I'm going to with him. I'm going to say that freedom, but we're going to freedom if I'm less at all. I get to do to free, or man, I'm going to go to the safe. I free, I'm not to I go know it.